How's it? Any hey, CowboyDocSports.com. I'm going to try on Friday, October 20th, as we get this video to you. Have your free pick winner in just a second here. Let me get my tie ready. Uh, your free pick winner today, after a nice free pick winner yesterday, I think we gave you James Madison on the under. Um, three and one free pick run. Let's see if we can get you another free pick selection today. And uh, hello, I'm Indian Cowboys. Doc Sports Indian Cowboys has been around for 19 years. Doc Sports 53 years. Been around a long time. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Our next best selections are YouTube Premium Thoughts, where we give you three extra thoughts every single day, all for just $20 a month. It is our teaching channel where we teach you how to fish and how to look at ball games more in depth. And, um, you know, you get close to 200 selections, all for just $20 a month, probably one of the best deals on the internet. And our final best selections are free picks and leans on the daily video, which is the video that you're watching right now. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comment section, as well as a link to how to get your free $60 worth of premium selections as well. If you want more content, hop onto our Twitter, has our consensus reports, our trends on late night ball games, and our hot takes on sports, and our latest updates. So what's going on in our neck of the woods? Well... Uh, we have uh, five football selections going on tomorrow, uh, or going off this week, which we're excited about. Uh, hopefully, we will do well. We won last week. We went four and one. We took uh, Minnesota, the Vikings on the seven unit, the six unit on Kansas State. Really, some sharp selections, which we're pretty proud of. And uh, and we also gave you LSU to route uh, their opponent as well. And I think there was one more. We gave you the Saints over, which was a miss. And then. Uh, we tacked it on with the Ravens minus the four. So let's see what we can do this week. Looking forward to that. What else do I need to tell you? Hockey resumes tomorrow. I have a great selection there for you. Um, as it relates to soccer, 7-0 and 11-1, and and uh, soccer run. And uh, soccer has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we had a uh, – let me see how Dortmund did today. Um, uh, I think we had Dortmund minus the one and a half. So we are on a 7-1, and 11-2 run. Um uh, now in soccer but uh let it be let it be football nba starts in four days of course i will have an nba futures video out for you tomorrow morning let it be football baseball nba nhl soccer wnba of course is over or mma uh we're looking to roll so hopefully you'll join us for everything all right let's get your free play selection today i like smu minus the points today i know it's a lot of points here but uh whenever smu plays temple it's usually a route and i think today will be no different to be honest with you uh, you can find that line currently around minus uh, 23 and a half. It's jumped up quite a bit, but I think they win by 30 plus. Remember, you have SMU who beat, or 27 plus at least. You have SMU who beat ECU the last two games by scores of 31 and 10 and 34 16. They were 12 point favorites on the road at ECU and they won big. And ECU is coached by Mike Houston, of course, who coached the national championship uh, James Madison team before being at, S at ECU for, for, for about five years. This SMU team played Oklahoma and lost by 17. They lost to TCU by 17. Temple has had four straight losses, and it looks like they pretty much tanked on the year, including losing 14-41 to 41 at the hands of North Texas. SMU, of course, of course, is coached by Coach Rhett Lashley. He coached the Miami Hurricanes, and he was their offensive coordinator. SMU has faced this team in 2019 and 2020, and they routed them. And uh, whenever you put them on national television, you do pretty well. And you have to think that SMU, you know, this is a team that, um, you know, you have the offensive coordinator of Miami, who's now the head coach of, of SMU, you know, you're, they're facing a Temple team that gave up 145 points in their last three games to Tulsa, North Texas, and Texas San Antonio. Imagine what SMU might do to them. I'll take SMU minus a 22 and a half. New Jersey Islanders, that is YouTube premium. Calgary Columbus, that is YouTube premium as well. As it relates to James Madison and Marshall, that gave you that yesterday. We talked about Rice uh, Tulsa as well. All right, so let's get to your NFL thoughts here. Chargers Chiefs, I still lean on the Chargers here. You know, I think I think the Chargers are you know two and three. They're a desperate team. I'll try to add a few more college football thoughts for tomorrow as well. I think I'm going to try to add all the Big Twelve games, but I'll add that to you for tomorrow morning. But I think the Chargers are two and three here. They're a desperate team. They have to win. Chargers lost by six points the last time they played each other. The Chargers have lost three games by a total of six points. I think the Chargers step up here, frankly, and I think they have a phenomenal. I think they'll play phenomenal defense, and I think the Chiefs. I saw them in Minnesota live uh, in the box, and you know, I think the Chargers actually step up here, plus the five and a half points. They come off back-to-back -back losses. They've only lost by six points to this team the last two times they played them. I like the Chargers, Eagles, Miami. That's YouTube Premium. Falcons, Bucks. I still lean on the Falcons. I think they possibly upset them on the road, and I'm going to take the points here. Falcons had 400 yards of offense in the last game, and I'm down seven to 17 at the half against Washington. Very frustrating game. I understand the Bucks also come off a loss as well, but I think the Falcons have a lot better skill players than Washington than um, than the Bucks do, frankly. And uh, you know, Atlanta, Washington beat Atlanta despite Atlanta, Washington only having 200 yards of total offense. Atlanta had 400 yards. I think um, the Falcons are the way to go here. Bills, Patriots, that is YouTube premium. Uh, Washington Giants, I still like the Giants. I think the Giants are on the trend up. 
you know, Washington beat Atlanta 24-16. I think they have a monumental letdown here against the Giants, who played fantastic against Buffalo. Only they were down 6 nothing going into the fourth quarter. They held Buffalo scoreless until the fourth quarter. And then Buffalo came back. So I like the Giants there. Vegas, Chicago. I still like Vegas. I know they're a huge public fade, but you got to respect Vegas and McDaniels. They're 3-3. Three and three. Chicago's 1-5. and five. Vegas won their last game 21-17 against a very motivated Patriots team. And um, Belichick really wanted to win that game because he was facing his former assistant and still couldn't do it. You know, you had Mac Jones that was playing for his job and still lost. So Vegas has lost three in a row prior to that. Chicago comes off a tough 13-19 loss to Minnesota. I think it's hard to back the Bears, though, considering their injury situations. I'm going to lean slightly on Vegas. Uh, Arizona, Seattle, that's U2 Premium. Niners, Minnesota, U2 Premium. Pittsburgh Rams, I still think that uh, Pittsburgh is decent value here. Um, the Steelers are 3-2. and two, uh, And the Rams, uh, yeah, and the Steelers, huge win over the Ravens, 17-10 in their last game. And uh, we cannot understate that. The Steelers, of course, got rocked by Houston prior to that. The team had set extra time preparing for this game. Uh, and the team still beat the Browns when the Browns had Watson healthy. And um, the Rams beat the Cardinals 26-9. It's not an official selection, but I think Pittsburgh can hang tough here. Um, they have some time, extra time to get ready for this game as well. So I think that makes sense. College football. Uh, Mississippi State, Arkansas. I think Arkansas finally busts through here. Arkansas, by the way, has lost by 10 points to Ole Miss, to Alabama. And if you include LSU, they've lost by 13 points to the Ole Miss, Alabama, and LSU to those three juggernauts. Mississippi State has struggled, of course, losing several in a row. But I think Arkansas finally busts out here after several losses in a row. And I think they finally get through and beat up on Mississippi State a little bit. Lean on Miss Arkansas. South Carolina, Missouri, that's U2 Premium. Army, LSU, that's U2 Premium. Uh, Ole Miss, Auburn. I like the under in that game. You have a 5-1 and 3-3 and three and three team here. I think the only way Auburn hangs tough is through their defense. Ole Miss can put up a lot of points, and that's why Auburn's only a 6.5-point underdog. And I think Auburn plays fantastic defense, similar to what Tulane did to Mississippi of sorts. And Auburn just lost by 30 to LSU on the road, so they're going to be motivated. And they held UGA to 27 points at home, so I think it makes sense. I like the under there. Uh, Pittsburgh, Wake Forest. I like Wake Forest here. Uh, Pittsburgh shockingly beat Louisville 38-21 in a game that Louisville was up 21-14 in the half, and then they just laid an egg. They did beat no they beat Notre Dame, and they were looking ahead to continue to have an undefeated season, and they just got caught red-handed. And I think what happens here, Pittsburgh now goes on the road to a very hungry Wake team who comes off losing three in a row. And I think Wake's going to be super motivated. They only lost to Clemson by five. Uh, they actually played Virginia Tech pretty well before they ran out of steam in the second half. So I think Wake Forest actually has some success there. Clemson, Miami, that's U2 Premium. Virginia, UNC, U2 Premium. Duke, FSU, I like the under between Duke and FSU. Duke's only loss was to Notre Dame this year, obviously. In hindsight, that's pretty impressive. FSU has been hammering teams, of course. On the road, they've been a little sketchy, honestly. I think this game might go under, uh, given how the line is laid out. FSU was such huge hate favorites to begin with. I think Duke will slow this game down to a snail's pace if at all possible. Remember, the coach of Duke is a former defensive coordinator of Texas A&M, and uh, he used to obviously work for um, you know the A&M head coach, uh, Jimbo. Texas. I, I think that what happens is Duke slows this game down. I think this game possibly goes under the posted total. Um, again, Virginia, UNC, Penn State, Ohio State, Air Force, uh, Navy, that's all YouTube premium. Finally, Utah, USC, I like the under there. USC lost to this team last couple of years. They have not beaten them since 2020. They gave up 45 points to them last year, and Utah scored 7 points against Oregon State or 14 points against UCLA. They put up 30 points in their last game. I think that they have a huge offensive letdown here. I think USC rolls in here, ticked off after giving up 45 points in their last game in Notre Dame. At some point, USC's team's defense has to step up, and I think it's probably going to be here. At this point, USC has given up 41 to Notre, or 48 to Notre Dame, 41 to Arizona, and 41 to Colorado. And uh, I think at this point, they have to step up. And I think they probably do it here. That's what I have for you on your free play video. Hope you guys don't. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day.